crispy and fried falafel with soft fluffy inside dipped in creamy tahini sauce. I'm Bea from El Mundo Eats and today I'm going to show you how to make them. Delicious, I'm telling you. Let's make our tahini sauce first. I'm using two garlic cloves. I want them in very small pieces, so I'm using my garlic presser for that. Faster and easier. Half teaspoon of salt, half cup of natural toasted tahini paste, and one third cup of lemon juice. Okay, don't panic when you get this thick mixture, right? You're gonna loosen up with some water later. Add the water bit by bit until you get the consistency that you like. Finally, 1 tablespoon of chopped parsley. You can get the written and printable recipe on our website almondoeats.com. We have both the US and metric measurements there. Moving on to our falafel. I highly recommend to use dried chickpeas for this recipe because they give you an amazing texture compared to canned ones. It'll be easier to shape and cook the falafel also. Here I have 1 cup of dried chickpeas that I have soaked for 24 hours. You can see they are double in size here. What you want to do is drain them very well and pat them dry with some kitchen paper. You don't want any extra moisture. For the fresh herbs, I have half cup each of parsley and cilantro. And I like to just roughly chop them first to help with the blending later. One shallot and two garlic cloves. Let's talk spices. Here I have one teaspoon of coriander powder and another teaspoon of cumin powder. For a touch of heat, I'm adding one teaspoon of cayenne pepper powder, one teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda to help our falafel get that beautiful golden brown color. Now, let's just blend everything until you get a semi-fine mixture. Remember, we are not making hummus here, so don't go blending like crazy, alright? This is the texture that we are looking for. Let's chill this in the fridge for one hour for all the amazing flavors to blend. And when the mixture is cold, it's gonna be easier for us to shape the falafel. I like to use an ice cream scoop so that my falafel are all the same size. Here I'm using one and a half tablespoon one. I find that pressing the patty lightly and toss it from one hand to the other really helps in shaping and keeping it together. See how easy it is? Okay, now let's cook them. Spray the air fry baskets with some oil. Don't put the patties too close to one another. Use air fry function at 375 Fahrenheit or 190 Celsius and cook for 16 to 18 minutes. Flip them at minute 10. They are so crispy and trust me, once you make them like this, you're never gonna deep fry them again. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you on the next one.